What was that? She has a Beyblade? So um, today we got the big 4.8 live stream, which was really cool. And obviously we got to see the trailer for uh, the new event going on. Uh, I wanted to just give my thought on it. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I'm very excited um, about these new things. Obviously we got two new skin. One is going to be for free for um, Kirara. I think it looks absolutely amazing. Obviously, we got the new character, Emily, coming in. She's the forensic. She got, like, Market Drip a super long time ago. Um, and uh, I think the new region looks absolutely amazing. It's um, it's called Simulanka. And uh, as every single um, X.8 region, it's temporary. It's going to probably have some foreshadowing when it comes to what's going to be happening in that land, like we had in the previous uh, patches, uh, X.8 patches. So whether it's in terms of gameplay or in terms of story, if you if you want to kind of get an idea of what might happen in the future, do keep an eye open for that. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, a lot of the character present for it, I really like, except Scaramouche, so it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, we got to see a little preview of the skin. Nilu looks great, although I kind of miss the horns. I think I really like the horns for her main outfit. Uh, but Kirara, to me, is definitely an upgrade. Um, apart from that, I don't really have much to say. I'm just very excited to explore the place. I think the, the paper origami and the town, uh, the toy town, is uh, really fantastic. I'm very excited for this area. I want to explore it. I'm going to explore it, and it's going to be a good time and a half. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. The event looked kind of cute, kind of fun. So, yeah, I think it's going to be good times. Um, that's pretty much it when it comes to my thought for the 4.8 uh, main story, uh, I guess. So, it is what it is. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Natland trailer, let's fucking go! <laughs> what is that? Oh! New character! What? What the... What was that? She has a Beyblade? Wait, is this a thing? Is this her ability? Or is this the ability? Is this just a mount? It looks like it's hers, right? Yeah, it has to be hers. She's literally a Beyblade. <laughs> oh, new monster enemy. Well, new NPC enemies. Uh, looks like, uh, yeah, looks like he's equipped with some kind of um, stuff that looks like V-Shaps. Look at the map. That reminds me of Cusco. <gasps> oh, so cute! Oh, she kind of reminds me of a mix of um, Kiana and... Uh, oh, what's her name? The the girl with the punches in Honkai Park 3rd. Uh, oh, crap. What's her name? I don't remember. Anyway, yeah, she looks cute. I like her. She's probably Hydro... Maybe, maybe Glacial. I would say Hydro. Okay, that's that has to be. Oh, it could be Geo. I think the little girl in the in the Beyblade is uh, Geo. I think this guy might be Hydro. She's cute. I like her. What? Cow. Yes, that one. She has a a a, a water board. Thing. She's so cute. I like her a lot. Oh, that shark is so adorable. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it's definitely Dendro. That's a big sword. Is he a Claymore user? A bunch of new enemies. Okay. Uh, honestly, it's a bit less than I had expected. Uh, but we do get some things. So, yeah, definitely Geo with the Construct. Uh, in terms of what kind of weapon she would use... Okay, let me think. Uh, let, let me give my prediction for those three characters, right? So, I think... Uh, the girl is a Geo. Okay, so I feel like the little Geo girl is going to be... 
Uh, Kotoki, hey, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. So I think the Geo Girl is probably going to be a the four star. I assume it's like two five star and one four star, right? So I, I think five star. Uh, so let's go right to left. So I think she's hydro, hydro five star. Um, in terms of weapon, I could see her having a pull arm that would kind of fit with the idea of like the, the fish and the stuff. So maybe she has like a, a trident or a, a harpoon, right? That could be cool. I really like her design. I think she's really adorable. She reminds me of Kiana and Carol from Hong Kong Impact 3rd. Um, in terms of what she can do, I don't know, actually. I feel like she could be... Um, she's going to be a polearm user. I think she's going to be a hydro polearm user. Uh, I feel like she's probably going to be a main DPS, right? Um, I think she's going to be a main DPS. I could see her, like, have the, the whole shark aesthetic. She might have, like, a big, insane AoE damage. Um, so yeah, I really like her. Now, when it comes to this one, uh, obviously she looks like she's Geo. I think she's going to be a four-star character. And uh, I, in my opinion, what is she going to do? I mean, she has that little Beyblade thing, right? Uh, I don't know. Is she going to be... You know, the problem is that between what I want and what I think she is, I think we need a Geo character that can actually heal, right? Because we don't have that. So it would be fantastic if we, get good, if we could get a healer. But the way she looks with the Beyblade, I feel like she can probably like bounce and bonk people around. Which I don't know if that's going to be very interesting or if that fits the healer idea, the healer perspective, right? Um, so maybe she's going to be like a four-star shielder. I could see that. Like maybe she bonks between enemies and that gets a shield for the team. It would be nice if she had some kind of um, crystallized healer kind of stuff, right? I, the problem I have with Geo is that it's kind of boring and uh, because it doesn't have any reaction with the rest of the elements. And I really hope we get some Geo character that actually creates a reaction between Crystallize and other elements. That would be awesome, but like if she seems to be a 4-star and I doubt they would introduce a 4-star that would have that kind of mechanic. Although I say that, but Traverse does exist, right? Even if she doesn't like create a separate or a stronger elemental reaction, she does have a specific buff for a specific kind of reaction. So I kind of hope that we get a character like this, but I don't know if this one is going to be it. And then we have this boy, which I assume is going to be a five-star Dendro character. Uh, he seemed to have a Claymore. Claymore characters are just not that good, so I hope he's going to kind of change that idea. I kind of like his outfit. He kind of looks like a, like urban kind of like streetwear, which is kind of nice. Um, I'm not sure I completely vibe with the outfit. It kind of looks like he could be from Zenlesson Zero, to be honest. Uh, in terms of what he does, he's a Claymore unit. I assume he's gonna be a main DPS. What would be cool if if he could work in tandem with Emily, right? But I would assume Emily to work better with new pyro character. Uh, so that's kind of what I think. It's a bit unfortunate that this is all we get. Because I really, really wanted to get to see like a, a teaser of the pyro archon or pyro uh, sovereign. But I guess it is what it is. Alright, so banner wise, we now know who the five star are going to be. And for the phase one, we are getting a rerun for Navia, which I believe is a first rerun. And finally, a rerun for Nilu, which makes a lot of sense because she's getting a new outfit. She's going to be part of the story. So that's great. It's actually kind of interesting that we get Emily phase two, considering she's a new character. But I think this is because um, Navia and Nilu seem to be a big important part of the main story, a 4.8 story, so that's probably why they want to rerun them there. Also, Emily as a new character, maybe they're trying to get you to spend for the new character on phase 2, and Yella, which is, she's one of the best characters in the game. Um, so maybe they're trying to, like, as close to Natlan as possible, make you spend your resources, right? So, what do I think of the characters? What would be my recommendation for who to pull for? So, as a quick overview, 
Navia is actually super fun to play in my opinion. Uh, she has huge damage, she's comfortable to play, you just need to have someone to create like crystallized reactions, to empower a huge like burst of damage to get from your skill. Ultimate is fun as well. She feels good, she's one of the unique Claymore characters. I don't think she's like top of the meta, I don't think she's one of the best DPS out there, but she's slightly under them, right? So she's not going to be as good as Olekino, she's not going to be as good as Nuvillette and characters like that, right? But she's still very, very viable, and obviously she looks absolutely amazing, so there's definitely value there. Um, I think she's definitely one of the best Geo DPS out there, on the same level, if not better than Arataki Ito, in my opinion. Um, and she feels great to play. I think she's a bit more flexible than a character like Arataki Ito. Um, and uh, yeah, she, she works really well with characters like... Um, I mean, obviously, like, uh, what's her name? Uh, Frida. The Marisha Hunter set is great for her, so uh, she's, she's fantastic. Now, Nilu. Nilu is way more niche in the sense that she can basically only be played with... Um, is it Hyperbloom uh, reaction? So you want her to be with um, Hydro and Dendro characters. She also is fantastic with Furina. You want characters that have a good amount of Dendro application. I think she's very good and she's very fun to play. But again, she... Bloom reaction, yeah. But again, she she's not the top, top DPS, but she's quite good. Also, uh, when it comes to phase one weapons, I think this is, if you like Navia and Nilu, this is a good banner to pull uh, for a weapon. Because Nilu's weapon is absolutely fantastic. It's one of the very good um, five star out there. It's the key one, uh, which is definitely one of the top sword. Uh, Navia's weapon, I think, is a bit, is not as universal. It's still a good... Uh, statistic uh, and it looks bad as it's crap so you know it is what it is next for phase two we do have Emily which is gonna be a new character I think Emily is gonna Emily is gonna be a little bit more niche because it's kind of like Ninu where she works for a certain type of reaction and she's going to work for um, burning reaction which right now is a reaction that's kind of uh, not super used uh, that's lacking a little bit, so it's nice to see some love toward it. I think right now, upon release, she's gonna be okay. But I think she might be really empowered in the future with new Natland characters, because obviously we're gonna get the Pyro Archon, which people are speculating is gonna become a better Bennett and Xiangling. Um, and then we're gonna get the Pyro, Ar uh, Pyro Sovereign, most likely. Uh, so I feel like Emily might gain value in the future, even if right now she's maybe not the best. But she looks good. She seems to be a off-field DPS with a good amount of dendro application, so that's something to look forward to. Personally, I'm not super into the design, but yeah. Now, for her weapon, obviously we don't know exactly what it is, uh, but I assume it's going to be something that empowers her specific playstyle. So I'm afraid that it's going to be way more niche and way more specific to her and or burning reactions. Now, Yelan is one of the best characters I've said before. Um, I think if you don't have a character like Shinsho C6, she's like a must pull. If you have Shinsho C6, I think she's still has incredible value. I think she's one of the best out there. She's not as good as a character like Furida, which is absolutely broken, but she's still very good. Uh, she has very good traversal, so she's a nice overall world character. Uh, but also, she uh, has good hydro application, she has a lot of damage, of, of field damage, and she buffed the team. She's fantastic. Getting her and also having Shinsho uh, is still good. You can put both of them on the same team if you want to just have an insane amount of, of field damage. But also, you can have them on two different teams for MOC and stuff like that, which is always nice to have very strong hydro application characters. Um, her weapon, that bow, is one of the best bow, if not the best bow in the entire game. That said, would I recommend pulling for the weapon unless you really, really want the bow? I think this is not going to be the best weapon banner because Emily's weapon 
um, I think is probably not going to be super interesting if you don't want Emily. If you like Emily and you want Emily, that weapon banner is probably going to be good because even if you lose uh, the 50-50, you still get a pretty decent weapon that you can use for your Emily, newly acquired. But otherwise, I think maybe you want to skip, try to get a weapon on another rerun or something like that. Maybe she'll be in the next, um, you know, like region, the critical wish events. If that happens again, probably. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of my thought on the characters. Um, I would say the only must pull here would be Yelan. Um, and I think the other three are a bit more niche, uh, but they definitely will have some use. So I would check it out. So that's my thought. Uh, personally, I want Yelan. I kind of want Nilu, but I don't know if I have enough resources to get that. So I might skip phase one and Emily and just grab myself a Yelan and then save for Natlan because I'm looking forward to get Natlan units. That said, from the teaser of Natlan that we just saw, um, apart from the Hydro character, the others don't really vibe, uh, vibe with me. So I might, um, I might have more resource than I, I might expect. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So that's my thought on the topic. I just want to quickly go over the optimization that they're dropping in for Genshin Impact. And I think this is going to be very good. So I'm going to quickly go over it um, and go over what's very interesting. So to me, the most interesting point here is the encounter point accumulation system. Essentially, what this allows you is that every time you spend resin, you get a certain amount of encounter points. And this long-term encounter point is saved on your account. And when you log in, you can just redeem those encounter points to instantly get the reward, the daily reward. So essentially, you can like, every time you spend your resin, you can accumulate this point. And whenever you're not super feeling like you want to, to just like play through the dailies and stuff, you can just create your condensed resin and redeem the points right away to finish all your dailies. So it's gonna take like a minute to actually like get your daily points, which is amazing. Also, that means that when a new region comes out or like a new area comes out, or if you just want to do some exploration, every time you're gonna get like chests and stuff like that, you will get some points stack up in your bank that you'll be able to use later, which is absolutely awesome, right? Uh, so that's fantastic. Those points will last for the entirety of a version. Uh, and when I say version, I don't mean 6.0, 6.1, etc. I mean 6.x or x.0. No, 6.x or 5.x. So essentially, for the entirety of Natlan, you'll keep those points. It will only reset when 7.0 comes out which is insane. Uh, the other new thing that's coming up is that the boss will respawn in only 10 seconds, which makes farming way better, obviously. That's awesome, instead of three minutes or five minutes. It's not that long, but it's still a bit annoying, so that's good. Um, optimization for the party setup screen in the Spiral Beast that just allows you to move characters up and down, uh, left and right, which is useful. Uh, that got implemented in Star Rail recently, so, you know, it's good to have it here as well. Uh, you can filter your character for the Astro Mark. I don't think that's very interesting. Now, the next good thing, in my opinion, the most important one, is that you can finally review the dialogue. Uh, so if you miss something, you want to go over something that you just, like, saw, you can open up the dialogue and go back to it. You can listen to the voice line as well. And then you can also hide the dialogue screen, which, if you want to enjoy the beautiful uh, art, you can hide it, take a screenshot, do whatever you want. Uh, you can also hide the UI, uh, so that's something, right? And then, uh, this is mostly for new players, um, just making some challenges easier to fight Raiden Shogun, to get the glider license, um, and also you'll be able to adjust your world level earlier. I don't think that's like, it's, it's just, it's okay, but that doesn't affect most of the players, let's be real. Here, they're adjusting some of the domain uh, challenges to just make them a bit less obnoxious. Uh, like some of the domain, like this one, it increased 
the cooldown of your skill, which was really annoying. Instead, it makes it so you deal more damage. So thank God this is happening. There's also the other place, uh, the cryo place that like consumes your stamina, like double the amount of stamina is consumed, uh, which is absolutely terrible. It just makes you miserable. Uh, so that's good that they're changing this. They're changing some of the monster type here. They seem to be removing the Hydro Abyss so you don't get stuck in the bubbles. Just makes those old domain farming uh, less worse. And finally here, um, you can save storage space by deleting past quest resources, which you used to have to go to your file and stuff, which was really annoying. Here you can directly do it in the game, which is nice because you can actually save a lot of space on your devices. When we're rolling artifacts, uh, no, I think this is for domains when you either farm artifacts or when you farm for um, essential material, or like talent material, for example. Uh, so yeah, that's all the optimization coming up. I think some of it is very good. Some of it is just kind of nice. Some of it is only for new players. It is what it is, but overall, I think it's a net positive. So there you go. Uh, this is everything coming up with 4.8. I think overall, it's pretty good. I'm excited for it. I'm excited for the new banners, for the new region, and for the new quality of life. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe, all the good good, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!